for another episode of our weekly review show. Just a week of the season to go with four games coming up over the next seven days for the White Tigers. But we start this week's episode by looking back to a busy Easter weekend, which saw City take on two games in four days, starting with a trip to Harrow on Good Friday. Despite early Truro dominance, it was Harrow who opened the scoring. James Ewington charged through and fired into the roof of the net for 1-0. Truro continued to see the majority of the play, but went in at the break behind. They drew level seven minutes into the second half for a brilliant strike from Dan Sullivan. Rocky Neal then saw a chip shot tipped over the bar. Truro took the lead just past the hour mark. Finley Crass cross was brilliantly played on by Neil to the onrushing Sullivan who slotted home his second. Green's Labour was then fouled in the area and a penalty was awarded. Rocky Neal stepped up and fired into the bottom corner. Sullivan rounded off the scoring moments later as he completed his hat trick with another fantastic strike as City ran out comfortable 4 1 winners. Second half hat trick from Dan Sullivan gave City a comprehensive 4 1 away victory at Harrow Borough at Hillsmead Stadium on Good Friday. We now hear the thoughts of Sullivan and manager Paul Watton, who we caught up with after the game. Paul, a 4 1 win at Harrow Borough, your thoughts on the game? Uh, I, th I thought we were, were terrific for the first, um, up until they scored. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what minute that was. Um, and we should have been 3 0 up. Um, concede a poor goal but I just said at half time to the lads just believe in the process stay calm We're starting to get a little bit frustrated and a little bit edgy and second half we've um, totally dominated the game and, and deservedly won and as you say at half time it was we really as you said dominated the game really yeah. and, and they had one shot and they took took full advantage of that it was a good finish but um, it shows a lot of character doesn't it to come from behind and put in that second half performance yeah, well, that's one thing I think the lads have had, have shown all year, all season is, is character. They've got that in abundance. They get, you know, the, the Beaconsfield game. They they were as disappointed as anyone, and they've um, they've always bounced back so far this season, um, and they did it again. But I mean, the first goal, we, we know what we did wrong. It's not, you know, it's it's happened. Um, that's what Ewington does. He, he's good at it. Um, you know, half time was a very calm change room, uh, making the boys believe in themselves, and they went and showed what they can do second half. And we got to mention Dan Sully, obviously, hat trick for him today. Um, your thoughts on his performance? Uh, yeah, I thought he, st he started the game great and then had a, a dodgy spell in the in the first half, but second half he was fantastic. Um, second half against Beaconsfield last week, he he, he carried the team forward um, and he'd done it again today. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased for Sully to get his hat trick. It, it's, his work great, it's fantastic, and he's, he's a pleasure to have in the team. And we've got a very busy schedule coming up. We've had had a busy schedule Ed, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but how how important was it for us to, to bounce back from that result last week? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the league title. I mean, if Western if Western don't do it, you know, wow. I mean, it's going to be one of the biggest upsets of all time. So it's not about you know, it's not about the, the league position. It's about bouncing back from disappointment, and um, the boys have done that today. Um, we're on to a, a tough game now. Um, thankfully, we got we got a day advantage on, on Plymouth Parkway, obviously. But going on to the, the game on Monday against Parkway, it's going to be another tough game in front of a, potentially a big crowd, isn't it? Probably as tough a game as we could have. Mm. Um, uh, the extra day rest won't make any difference, um, you know. We'll, but we'll go into it uh, positive and prepared and. We'll win, lose or draw. So down a 4-1 win at Harrow Borough. Uh, difficult game, but you must be buzzing with the three points. Yeah, uh, tough place to come, Harrow. Always been a tough place to come. Um, thought we started well, uh, conceded a sloppy goal, really. And that knocked us a little bit, but I thought we were still good first half, created a few chances to, to go in at half-time level, but we didn't. We got the belief, and luckily, yeah, second half was great from everyone. Got four goals, so yeah. Good, good uh, win overall. And you mentioned the four goals, three of them uh, coming to yourself. You're yep. buzzing with that, aren't you? I am, yeah. Uh, yeah, three goals is always nice. But yeah, the win at this stage of the season is even more important. But yeah, three goals and three points away from Harrow. So can't ask for much more. Because I know we speak, we spoke earlier in the season, you were disappointed with the, the amount of goals you got. Um, and you wanted to improve that. And re recent weeks, obviously, showing you, you've been doing that. And to get three today, is there anything you've been doing differently or just 
just no, a bit of luck just, or? No, yeah, just a little bit of luck really. Mm. Start of the season, I didn't start as well as I should have or what I wanted to, sorry. Um, just not scoring as many as I like to and we had a chat there. Yeah. Uh, I set myself a target at the start of the season. I haven't reached it yet, but I'm closer. So yeah, back end of the season, I've started to hit a little bit of form and goals are coming, so that's always nice. It's always and nice. Talk us through your goals today, the, the first one. First one, good finish. Uh, yeah, if I remember it correctly, it was a little touch from Rocky. Just set me, just get head down and hit it. Luckily it went in. Second one again, unbelievable touch from Rocky and it was just 50-50, me and the other guy. And lucky it kind of got on the end of it. And the third one, yeah, hit and hope. And <laughs> I'm going to say it's hit and hope, yeah, yeah. And it just, luckily for me, it's, it's gone in. So yeah, yeah well, three, three good goals. Do you think, would you have, the third one, would you have taken that? Do you think that's confidence after the last two? Or because it, little, would you, do you think you would have taken that regardless uh, if you hadn't scored the first two? Because it is, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. an audacious effort, isn't it? So it is it's an a really good effort, hit, yeah. yeah. Audacious, but... Sometimes they come off. I'm pretty sure if it didn't go in, I would have got an ear four off a few of the lads. But so luckily it went in. And yeah, three points, four goals away from home at Harrow. So it's a good day. There was no rest for City as they welcomed Plymouth Parkway to Belifo Park on Easter Monday. Here's the best of the action. Plymouth Parkway opened the scoring at Belifo Park. Former City man Rio Garside blasted a shot past Heyman to break the deadlock. City equalised six minutes later, Will Dean's cross was only half cleared and Harvey Greenslade was on hand to smash the ball home. Into the second half and Dan Sullivan was shown a second yellow card for a late challenge on Callum Hall. Parkway then retook the lead through Captain Ryan Lane late on. Truro thought they'd levelled it in the dying embers. Ben Adelsbury's header was saved before Enyaya's shot was blocked on the line. Parkway wrapped it up in stoppage time. Crago found Seymour in the box before being fouled by Heyman. He stepped up and scored a third for his side. So a disappointing 3-1 home reverse to Plymouth Parkway here at Belifo Park on Easter Monday. And we caught up with manager Paul Watton after the game, who gave us on his verdict. Paul, a 3-1 defeat here at uh, Belifo Park against Plymouth Parkway. What went wrong today? Um, the weather's sending off, just changed the whole complexion of the game. Um, very, very poor, ill discipline. You can't do that when you're already on a booking, that's just ridiculous. Um, but it didn't feel like a derby at all. I, I, was quite, I thought it was quite a lifeless game. Um, I thought first half, it was there for us to go on and, and grab it big time, I thought, and I think we did that. Rio scores a wonder goal and we, we respond and score and at half time we just said everything's got to be better, everything's got to come up, our standards, our levels, our, our energy, everything's got to come up and if we'd done that I felt, I felt we'd have gone on and, and won the game, I, th I think. Um, I mean they didn't, they didn't get in our box first half, not at all. Um, we didn't make their keeper make enough saves and I don't think Hammy's had a save to make either so but the sending off overalls killed us I thought then with 10 men I thought I thought we were great with 10 men and um, I didn't think we'd get broken down but obviously the second goal was very very fortunate to how, how it's ended up in the back of the net I'll never know but and then the, the last this last kick of the game with Henry um, so yeah disappointing day for us um, I think we've let a big chance go there today um, so yeah it's disappointing but We've obviously got a massive game on Wednesday night that we need to recover for and go again. And just at half time, at one all, going in at half time, you, yeah. you must have been quite confident going in, going in at the break. Well, that's what I said. I thought we were the better team first half. Mm. Um, um, and I, I think if, if, we, if our levels had come up, I only need to come up five, ten percent. I don't know if we've lacked a little bit of belief today. I'm not sure. Um, you know, but. I, even at, even at, with 10 men, I, I didn't see Parkway scoring and obviously I, I think it was a fortuitous goal, I think it was. Um, but you know, it's, uh, 
lick your wounds, get on with it. Um, disappointing. The reserves are within touching distance of winning the St Piran League. They need just a point from their last two games to secure the league title. They beat Wendry United reserves 3-1 away from home. Phil Lowry and Finn Harrison gave City a 2-0 lead before the host pulled one back for the penalty spot. Finn Harrison rounds off the scoring in the second half to secure a big 3-1 victory. One point is all that's needed for them to secure the league title. They take on Redruth United for Guy Fields on Saturday afternoon. Kickoff is 3 o'clock. It's a busy seven days ahead for the White Tigers with four games across that period. We start here on Saturday when we welcome Met Police to Belifo Park in the Summer League Premier South with a 3 o'clock kickoff. Before we're back here again on Monday evening when we take on Bracknell Town in a rearranged game. 7.45 is the kickoff there. 48 hours later, we're back here again on Wednesday when we take on Salisbury in a rearranged game in our final home game of the season. Before we hit the road, we take on North Lee on the final day next Saturday. For action and reaction from those three home games and a preview to that North Lee game, make sure you tune in to next week's show. I've been Cameron Weldon, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.